Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Hey, it's Ebro in the morning. Laura Stads and Rosenberg. No Ebro. We decided to kick Ebro out, Yachty. We decided we didn't need him. Nah, he protested. He was like, I ain't sitting with little Yachty. He just said, Yachty's coming? Nah, I'm good. We're like, we don't need Crazy. you anyway. Uh, how you been, bro? Hi. 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 Hey. You have a new song out today. Yes. And, and and in an effort, because, you know, Ebro's always talking trash about new music and calling it too cute, and in an effort to really piss Ebro off, the song is called... Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Just so old as Ebro could still be mad. Because all you can do is be mad about a song as happy sounding as Peekaboo. As you and Migos? Yeah. All of them? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Young Quavo? All three. Yo, um, so first of all, congratulations on... When was the last time we saw you? Maybe six months ago? Yeah. Eight months ago, something like that? So, yeah. Are you happy? Are you still having fun? Of course. How close are we to album time? Close. Close, close. Is it going to be a surprise? One of these surprise deals? Nah, we just didn't release the date yet. But it's done. Yes. You tweeted that it was done. It's 100% done. It's, it's coming out real soon. What's different today than, say, what the first time you came up here a year and a half ago, whenever that was? More money. No, oh, well, but the money was pretty good then. Yeah, no, it's... but this time he has Target money. When I was first getting into hip hop, a brand like Nautica, th brands like that appeared to be sort of embarrassed of their hip hop association mm. instead of embracing it. And instead, Nautica's kind of come back because of you and made you like their creative something or other, correct? Yeah. So how'd that, how'd that whole thing start and go? Um, it didn't go yet. Oh, so it's just starting? Yeah, it's here. We're here. So what, so what happened? So just tell me the process then, at least how we got to the spot where they're putting your face on ads and things like that. So basically, I was just wearing it. Basically, free promotion. You know what I'm saying? I kept tagging them, just trying to get them to, just trying to get them to notice me. And then <clears throat> they reached out, and then we, then we did the photo shoot, and then now we... Nah, no, work for him. So, it but it was as simple as for you because Yachty and Boat Club, like all that stuff was always your brand. Exactly. So it just was something that was organic for you. It just made sense. So do they just make you the face or are you going to be like involved in like the whole design process? Because like, you know, well, I'm involved. I got, all right. I got, so you say like, yes, no, yes, no, I want this. No, absolutely not. To my stuff, yes, I have a capsule dropping. My first capsule is dropping this fall. How many, how many things come in a capsule? How many like items is that? I don't know the top of my head. It's, like, it's a couple of those. It's a bunch of different pieces. Yeah. Pants, Pants, shirts, the whole shirt, nine. Hats, yeah. The whole thing. Yeah, it's fire. I got a bottle of, of sour spray candy with my face on it. Okay, that's pretty lit. That's From, pretty... Um, um, who makes the sour candy? Sour Patch Kids? He doesn't care. He just, nah, the fact that spray. he has a candy a that's a spray. Oh, it's a spray? Yeah. Literally like a spray? Warheads. Ah, Warheads. Shout out to Warheads. I love Warheads. Yeah. <laughs> you saw how I did that? Yo, shout out to yes, Warheads. I, yeah. love, I, I love Warheads. I love Warheads. Matter of fact, I'm eating Warheads right now. <laughs> what was so the, delicious. What was the story that you were telling me earlier about? It was a South by South what? What's the situation? I saw there were two. Yeah. My brother hit me up. My brother's, I told you, my brother's a big fan of yours. My brother hit me up. He was like, yo, I'm in the hotel lobby right now, and these cats are fucking with Yachty. I don't know what's going on. So that's crazy. That's really, just to briefly go into that. So that's a situation based a year in the, almost a year and a half before that day. And I haven't seen that dude since then. And so it was a dude, uh, we don't want to talk about, like, go in detail or give anyone, you know, press over bullshit, but someone who had had an issue with you and then he just came up and brought this issue up in person. No, we brought the issue up. Oh, got it, got it, because you saw this person. Exactly. Mm. And this is just someone who'd been hating on you for a long time? Well, he thought I did something that I didn't do and he tried to shoot me. I, I, I saw you tweet about that. Yeah, he tried to, he shot at me, tried to shoot me. Over something you did not do? Yeah, that he assumed I did that I had no, I had no part of. Um, I, you know, I gotta tell you, Yachty, nothing gets me more upset than when someone tries to shoot me over something I have nothing to do. <laughs> Is there anything worse that could fucking happen than someone trying to shoot? So anyways, I'm glad that situation do you feel happened. Like, do you feel like because of you know, your success and a lot of people have different opinions about your music that more people try to pick on you or start shit with you? Maybe. Just yeah. to get a reaction out of you. Yes, I do. Actually, in fact, with you know the situation that recently happened, um, I feel like people just try to throw a shot at me just so I can respond. I saw Vic Mensa try to do that too. Vic that's did? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Really? What did Vic do? That's my friend. He said like, what the fuck is a little Yachty or something like that. Oh, Don't I'm sorry me. that happened. That's I think a... it was something like that. I mean, but... What, that's, that's... Well, have you ever met you? So you've met Vic before yes. or no? Twice. Why did he come for you? I don't know. I've never even spoken to him. I just shook his hand. Like, say, hey. So you guys were cool, and all of a sudden you hear this, and you're like, wait a second, what? Like, where is this coming from? Niggas is weird. 
I don't. That's I'm gonna find out. That's very. That's very strange. Hey, listen. I. I, I don't. I. I gotta tell you. I don't care how many negative comments I get from old people wearing FUBU jeans and Echo sweatshirts. Um, no disrespect to FUBU. Okay, I'm not trying to. Say, I'm saying old stuff. Um, I don't understand all the extra yachty hate. I've never quite gotten it. I've told you that for a long time. Speaking of which, did you get my favorite thing that you've done was your appearance? I told you many times on the Chance album. Mm. Did you get? Um, were you able to talk to Chance or celebrate his Grammy wins at all? Um, yeah, I was with him that night. Really, when yeah, he's at, at the party? party? Yeah, it was. That was I probably was. Were you? Did you expect it? Do you expect him to have that uh, big a night? Of course. When they asked me who I think was going to take it all, I said Chance. I tweeted it. I tweeted Chance before the show and said, "I hope you and all of them." Um, it was awesome. The mixtape record was, I think, a great moment for you and yeah. kind of show people what you're capable of. Yeah, that song was dope. Um, congratulations, by the way, on Broccoli just hit 5 million yeah. sold. Thank you. Are you sick of that song yet? Nah. Still feels good. Yeah, it does. Feels good to have a smash hit. Yeah. Do you get annoyed with the term <laughs> mumble rap? Yeah. Why? You Do you find it offensive? You find it... Not offensive. I just don't see where I would be mumbling. Because you don't consider it mumbling? Well, I... There is mumbling music. I mean, I mean, I don't really find that mumble rap offensive. I, mean, I don't re- honestly don't give a fuck. But you find it inaccurate. On me. Right, for you specifically. Yeah. There's other shit that you could hear and be like, yeah, I can see why you'd call that mumble yeah. rap. But this isn't mumble rap. I mean, but honestly, it's not even that mumble rap. I just don't be mumbling. Right. I agree with you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, during this interview, I think you're mumbling. But on your records, I don't think that, you're mumbling. Yeah. <laughs> A good kid. I mean, he doesn't look. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. Have you ever been nice. tempted? Have you ever been tempted to drink or smoke? No, nah, not at all. But do chicks ever try to get you to do it? Yes. I, I'm guessing that's, that's who tries to get me. Of to course. Yeah. You know why, right? No. Oh, they want to say they did it. They well, yeah, that the number one they want to be. I got to do it. And number two, they're having their moment where they want to do something crazy with you, and it'll make them feel less inhibited to be able to be like, let's get fucked up. Uh-huh. So they have more of an excuse to just get crazy with little yachty. Fair enough. And uh, are you do you, are you still able to enjoy your experiences when things like that are happening, or do you get annoyed with people like kind of trying to pressure you to party? Nah, I don't party. You just don't do it. How do you have a do you have a good time at clubs ever? I don't. I'm not. Not really. So what? Like what? If, strip club. What? If, wait, you say you only like the strip club? Yeah, but I don't go by myself. I only go if I'm going like with him. I can't remember the time I was in the strip club without him. Got Why? It. Just because y'all have fun together. Like that's the way to make that's, it fun. He just drags me. Oh, because you want to go. Yeah. Your man wants to go. <laughs> you, do you drink? That's my boss. Oh, and he has a beverage. So he's yeah. sitting there enjoying a beverage. He doesn't and, be drink- you don't be drinking like that, though. I'm sure he probably does, but not really at the strip club. He may take a couple of sips. Was it something, did you ever consciously decide, I am not going to be a person who drinks or smokes, or it just school. never appealed to you? It was like senior year, like junior year of high school. And why did you, but you don't know why you decided? Well, I've never drunk ever. I took one shot in my whole life. And then without, uh, we, I just... Like, it just was, I eat unhealthy, and it was messing with my body, and it just wasn't what I wanted. Like, when I first started smoking, it was because my friends smoked, and, you know, how weird are you when everyone's smoking, and you're just sitting there? Uh, they hot box in the car, and you're sitting outside the car. It's cold outside. Right, like, what are we doing? Right. So, I was just trying to fit in, then I realized that wasn't me. You know, in high school, I was all about finding myself, but I realized that just wasn't me. I wasn't a smoker. I didn't drink. So, you say you eat healthy. I said, I don't eat healthy. Oh, you don't eat healthy. That's yeah. his vice. Oh, f- bad food is your... Yeah, and so we was really... We and bad food, like, I would just wake up in the morning, sit up out the bed, and then be tired. It was weird. Like, it was scaring me. The combination was not good for your energy. At all. What What are your... What's your... Or breathing. Or what? Breathing. Breathing? Yeah, Why, bro- you have asthma? Oh, oh, no, you, from smoking. Just, yeah, just smoking weed yeah, and not yeah. eating healthy. My, I just was... I was fucked up. What's your, what's your like, favorite vice food-wise? Like, Pizza. When, Where's your favorite pizza? Papa John's, but... Scotty. <laughs> Excuse me? She just made a face when you said Papa John's. You a Domino's person? I mean, you no, but I fan. thought he was going to say like a mom and pop pizza shop. He's not like, from New York. It doesn't matter. Atlanta's not known for pizza. It actually kind of does matter. I mean, yeah. maybe you have like a local spot that you really love. I mean, I, mean, I like I, I like pizza from everywhere. Yeah, it's Fellini's. I eat the Giorno's, Little Caesars. Oh, you don't discriminate. Don't <laughs> <laughs> he regulates every shade of the pizza. He doesn't discriminate. Every, yeah. I had some pizza yesterday that looked uncooked, and I knew it was uncooked. And I knew it was uncooked, but I still ate two slices of it. And last night... Let's talk about it. To- oh, toilet talk. All right. Toilet talk. Yeah. All right. All right. It was toilet mixed with little trash can over the Oh, mouth. everything. Oh, I did a number three. <laughs> oh. 
Is that a number three? It's a number three. It was wow. I started crying. Oh, you know, it's rough if tears are coming down I your face. I started crying because no. I couldn't breathe when you keep throwing up and then your throat yeah. is clogged. Um, right now, cue um. the YouTube comments of people like, I'm glad you was crying, motherfucker. <laughs> you make me cry. You fucking ruining hip-hop, motherfucker. Eat that uncooked pizza, you yeah, little yeah. son of a bitch. Facts. It was like that. Man, it was crazy. It, you know when you when you taking a shit and it's so bad you get out your clothes? Yes. Yeah. Yo, it's so rare yeah. that like you mean like you're dying. You're yeah. the only way you can get comfortable is if you get ass naked. Man, you just got you like you start getting hot. Then by the end of the day, it's just socks. <laughs> oh, so it was so much. crazy. I felt so dirty after I got in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt polluted. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where was this pizza from? Was it was it fast food pizza or was Man, it like a pop, it mom a, and pop? It was a mom and pop, ninety nine cent pizza. pizza. So you just dropped and oh. grabbed a slice on the street. Well, that's the problem. No, my security was like, "Man, it's the best pizza here." I had it last time. No. Bad mistake. Man, I wish I knew where it was. I'm going to tell you this right now. So nobody will go I'm going to tell you this right now. In New York, good pizza in the 80s was 99 cents a slice. But now a good slice, you're spending three fifty, four dollars $4 for like a good slice of pizza. Wouldn't you guys say? Around that range? Two brothers. Yeah, you Two brothers you is get, real good. You yeah, I like you. Careful. But they're, they're like $3, $4 a slice. No, that's a dollar no. slice. Bro. Well, for cheese, not for pepperoni. Yeah, for pepperoni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cheese is borderline right there. Am I confusing two brothers with another place? You might be. With five brothers? Isn't there another brothers? Five guys. Not five. No, five. that's I love, burgers. I do love five guys. Five guys, guys is amazing. I love steak and dogs. Are you, I've never gotten the dog from there. I always get the burger. The dog. I've never Bacon gotten dogs. I don't the burgers. dog. I've never had a hamburger in my life. Really? Yeah. you never had a hamburger in your Not life? In my life. Why? I just don't like the way it looks. Yo. Yo, let me tell you something. I like chicken sandwiches. You do or don't? Do. That's his thing. Are but you, you like bacon dogs. Mm -hmm. Two boots. Two <laughs> boots is more like four dollars a slice. You said two brothers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two boots it. is like eight dollars a slice. Yeah, two. Yeah. Well, well, you don't have to diss it. It's a nice slice of. It's a delicious slice of pizza. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get Yadi. I might try that. Uh, yeah, I, I just want you to have a meal in which it doesn't end with you having to get naked in the bathroom. Like I just want the man to have <laughs> a slice of pizza you, and not get so sick without crazy. tears. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Oh my god! Are you are you better now? Or are you still? No, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But it was like one of those situations when I when I finished, I thought I was done, got in the bed, and then mm. had to get back up. You ain't done. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. All right. It's terrible. Now, do, uh, do are you allowed to tell us yeah. any? Can, what can you tell us about your album? Can you give us give us a little quotable something that people are gonna go? Oh, I can't believe Yadi said that about his album. Give me give me a little juice. Pause. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something. Uh. You tell us a feature. Can you tell us something interesting about that? You know, it's so crazy. I really don't have many features on my album. A lot of like more local people, but I can. It's just all over the place. It's, it's like not all my normal music. Do well, I haven't released a song in almost half a year. Almost over over half a year. Almost close to a year. Like a single song. Like I did collaborative songs. I'm spinning all over the place. And features, but I haven't dropped a song just me. You haven't dropped a, a regular solo Yachty song on your SoundCloud in close to a year. Yeah. Um, the last record I was playing with you was uh, you jumped on the Rico Nasty yeah. remix that she did a while ago. Yeah. Um, hey, um, how do you know Rico Nasty? Through Vine. She used to do Vines. Uh, R.I.P. Vine. She made it. She's yeah. one of the few. Yeah. I'm, Rico, yeah. I'm glad you made her off Vine because a lot of people, like I said yesterday, a lot of people have these loops out here. She used to do Vines years ago. Over 100 million loops, gone. But it, she sucks. made it. Yeah, she was, uh, she's an amazing person. How yeah, did you great. meet, um, how did you meet Kyle? I don't know. Oh, no. I don't remember. I really don't. It was a long time ago, though. It was like almost, it was over a year, I think. I think on the internet. I don't know. How, how old are you now? Nineteen. Yeah. Everyone you know is from the internet. Let's just be honest. <laughs> uh, is it yeah. is it weird to you that you're such a young guy and you're just having a good time making music? And I'm sure on a regular basis you meet kids who are like obsessed. Like, have you met kids who have like the boat tattoo? Yeah. And is that is it weird for you? Is it overwhelming? No, it's not weird. It's just it just depends on. What, I love it. It's just I just hate when I get caught at the at the wrong time. Like when I'm Explain. Super what, tired the... or I'm upset about something. Something like it's, cause it's just like sometimes it's just like sometimes it's just not the time. I mean, but, it but you to can all never of us. say that to somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course. Nine times out of ten, I'm always, I always snap out of it. I always go well, because of because you appreciate because I'm the king of the teens. I got that image. 
And I'm known for being happy and just positive. Yeah, by the way, Yachty, it's true. If we ever hear about, if there's ever an end to this story, where it's like Yachty's finished out here, yeah. it's when the video comes up of some teenager being like, oh my God, Yachty, I like you. Man. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> right. She's like a grunt. Uh, you can't auntie. do that. that. That'll never happen. No, that'll so anti-brand. Then yeah. it'll be like, little Yachty was dropped yeah, by exactly. Nautica earlier. <laughs> Sprite, they've released a statement saying that they do not condone yeah. little Yachty screaming at teenagers. She like that. I never did that. I'm always the one that when, you know, someone security and everybody's like, no, we got to go. I'm like, no, chill. And then take the picture with the little girl. And then, then in the back of my he's like, Tom, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Tell him to grab yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and, and did, did you, I heard you had a, also... Uh, a second thing that happened at South by that was annoying. Someone threw some shit at you or something? No, it's, it, so it was a dude at this show. First off, the show was so whack. The show was not good? Yeah. Well, you didn't like the, um, you felt it was like industry and not actual it, fans. No, it was industry. Right. It was yeah, like, he was definitely not a fan. He was an old dude. And crowd, he was just throwing comments. It was just weird. What, in front of the stage? Like, he wasn't throwing actual things, comments. Oh, like, literally? Yeah. Oh, just yelling shit. Like, yeah, just. Like, what kind of shit was he yelling? Like, yo, you boring. Like, you. Like, where's the energy? So, like that. so what happened? So then I was like, nigga, what you want me to do? Like, it was dead. <laughs> like, like, you want me to just, I'm not going to jump in front of a crowd of old people looking who at are me. Not, who are not participating. Yeah, I can't. Like, it doesn't, your well, you brain does not yeah, register. Yeah. There's to no like, energy there for you. Only designer can jump, turn up for a crowd of nobody. What's your What's your crowd like? I've yet to go to a Yachty live show. When it's, a, when it's your people, what's the energy it's like? It's wild. I'll make sure you come when I come here on tour. When do you, when do you, when are, do you have a tour set up for the album? It's, it's, we about to release everything. Because everything's real soon. We just and we don't know the name of anything? We're Teenage Emotions. That, but wait, did we, that's the name of the album? Yeah. What is it again? Teenage Emotions. Teenage Emotions. And we know that we're dropping the record tonight. And today. The, today. The record with Migos. The record with Migos. Peekaboo. Yeah. AKA Ebro's new favorite song. Peekaboo. His new ringtone. Whenever I talk about it, I'm like, yo, Ebro, you know what it's time for? Peekaboo! Peek like <laughs> is there a video yet? Everything today. Everything's today. Yeah. Had you have you known Migos for a minute? I mean, since I've signed, I mean, I've known of Migos for years. Oh, but it's Coach K also. Right. So it's, it's family. We, we are family. Yeah. It's all it's all squad. It's, yeah, it's, no, it's family. It's deep in the squad. It's not even squad goals. It's family goals. It's not even goals because it's completed. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> his name is Little Yachty. <laughs> Teenage emotions. It's coming soon. And every nigga out there hating can suck 10 dicks, 100 dicks. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't pause that. I, I, you actually, can't wish other people to suck mad dicks and then say pause, son. That's what Big Sean said. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll take it. Go with it. I copy Big Sean. <laughs> that was his exact words. All right, Yachty. Thank you, bro. Little Yachty, ladies and gentlemen. Little Yachty. Yachty.